Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be part 6 in my uh, Semi-Deity uh, Russia uh, series on Civ 6 on Play Europe Again uh, from Yet Not Another Maps Pack. And uh, yeah, last time around, like I'd been saying for a couple of parts, I think, that I expected a uh, surprise attack from Genghis at some point. And that happened immediately at the start of the previous part, uh, which uh, has left us in a little bit of a mess over here. But I managed to rush out a the um, Warlord's uh, uh, thingy, uh, the uh, or Grand Master's thing uh, chapel, uh, which uh, allowed me to pick up some units with the faith I had been stacking up for a little while. And that meant, uh, even though blunting uh, Genghis's initial charge uh, somewhat uh, used up almost my entire uh, set of units, uh, I was able to uh, uh, get a few more units online before he uh, took any cities. Uh, so uh, I did lose a, a uh, an encampment, uh, which uh, I will... Uh, start uh, fixing as soon as this here uh, dam is done. Um, I really should have switched everything off of the uh, the dams as soon as the, the war started, but uh, delaying the dams, I thought, uh, you know, I, I wasn't going to be able to build anything fast enough to make a difference in the early going in the war. So I figured you know, having the dams there and not having infrastructure damaged during uh, a flood or something uh, would be worth far more. Uh, and I got lucky. I also had the uh, World Congress on my side and I was able to uh, uh, double production speed in the government plaza, which uh, cut some time off of the um, uh, Grandmaster's Chapel. Uh, so I picked up a few units last time around and as you can see, uh, Genghis's um, uh, melee units are severely uh, uh, weakened. Uh, and he's down to uh, mostly non-cores. So uh, that's going to uh, help me immensely. Uh, so we'll, we'll move along here. And uh, hopefully I can get enough of an army together quickly enough that I can uh, take a city from him, this one in particular. And uh, if I can do that, uh, it will uh, it will get me uh, a, uh, a quite a uh, uh, it'd be quite a coup really. Um, and I suspect he would make peace. I think I need to back this guy off into the city. Uh, I don't want to lose the bombard, uh, so I'm going to back him off into here. Um, now, uh, I can attack here, uh, and I got the promotion on uh, Victor that, that gives me double uh, 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 city bombard attacks. Um, my pike and shot come up here. Uh, this guy can uh, retreat and heal. Um, you uh, you can uh, go ahead and take a shot. You can make a core. Uh, okay, you can move up. I don't have enough faith yet to buy another unit, but, uh, that's one more, um, okay, I'm going to do that. That's one more, uh, melee unit that Genghis is down, like, he's down to 894, I've almost taken out half of his military strength. Uh, granted, it's cost me half of mine, but he started out at a higher level. Uh, this has also been good for error score. Uh, I need only five more error score to um, uh, to get up to uh, 
uh, a regular, uh, a normal age uh, next time around. Uh, I really don't want to be heading into a dark age. Um, anyway, uh, I'm probably going to lose this uh, pike and shot. Uh, or maybe not. I lost the crossbow. Uh, okay. So he's got, oh, he's got a, a general coming up here. Um, what did, did he hit it with at the end? Um, okay, so, uh, well, I'm going to take that guy out. I'm going to, uh, shoot at the stronger unit as I want to weaken that one first. Um, this guy can come forward. That guy, I'm going to leave him in the city. Uh, a couple more turns, I should be able to pick up another pike and shot. I'll do that for the amenities. I see Trajan's built yet another wonder. Uh, go figure. Uh, right, so uh, moving along here, I'm going to lose the pike and shot here. Uh, you may be wondering why I'm going after the melee units as opposed to all these, uh, these archery units here. And it's because if all he has is archery units, he can't take a city. And uh, uh, that's why uh, I'm going after these guys. And I'm going after the uh, core here. Yeah, so I was expecting that. Okay, that was fun. Uh, so I was expecting that. And uh, that... Um, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, a bit of a uh, challenge here, I think, to... Uh, do much of anything. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm bringing this guy around here to support these guys. I'm gonna back this guy up here. Uh, right. Come on. I'm gonna take another shot at that. Uh. Yeah, I still don't have enough faith to buy anything. Uh, okay. Uh, what to do here? Well, I think I'll go over here, and, uh, I need to get the, uh, production, uh, numbers up. Uh, so, see, with, with this coming up here, I've got a, I, I'm kind of worried that, uh, I'm going to end up with, um, Uh, with uh, losing the city. Uh, Trajan finished yet another wonder. I mean, seriously. What's this? What did Poland do? What did they grab? Okay, he started actually hitting the uh, city. So I'm actually going to have to start hitting his guys. But I'm going to get a uh, courser here, so that'll be good. Uh, right. Choose production. Uh, courser. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attack that guy. You, I think... What did he do with his core? Did he back it off? Oh, no, it's there. Well, I'll take another shot at it. Uh, 
Um, do I have a shot of taking this guy out? I do. You can go in here and heal. And uh, you come up here. And that'll give me flanking support. And he knocked Moksha out. Okay. Uh, okay. So you're going to improve that. Okay, so let's see what happens here. I have a suspicion that I've got a good shot that he's going to have just enough he'll be able to take out Kazimov. I hope not, but it's possible. And we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, okay, well, he doesn't have it under siege. That's nice. Uh, he's down 828. Uh, right. Okay. I grabbed a spy <laughs> from him. Um, where's his, uh, core? Oh, his core is retreating. Okay, so... If I bring this guy up here, I have a good shot at clobbering that. Good. Um... Wait, does this guy have a good shot of killing this? Yes! Good. Does, uh... And this guy has a... Oh, good! That moved him into the city. Okay, so I'll bring this guy ahead here. And... Major victory there. Yeah, I'll attack here. Weaken that guy. Uh, right. Oh, I should, uh... Uh, plus one movement seems like a good promotion, actually. Uh, and that heals him up, so that's good. Okay, now here... Um... Encampment repair, two turns. I definitely want to do that. And then uh, here, I'm going to move over there. Because uh, I still need to improve things, after all. Uh, right. Okay, so I'm actually much better off than I was. Uh, the city cities are actually very strong. Uh, especially with walls. And this is just ancient walls. I haven't built uh, um, uh, um, Renaissance or uh, you know, what is it? medieval or Renaissance walls. Uh, so uh, walls are actually quite strong. They got a bit of a buff in the uh, recent uh, uh, expansions. Um, right, he's bringing in even more stuff. Uh, which I'm going to need to take pot shots at. Uh, right. Okay, where are we with, uh, we need four more era score. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to get it. Uh, okay, what can we get here? Uh, Siege tactics seems like a good idea. And here we have... We're going to build yet more units. Uh, right, we can attack something. What are we going to attack? 
this one or this one major major I'll attack that. I'm going to bring this guy up here. And this guy up here. Oh. Ah! I've got this guy I can bring up as well. Okay, I'll cancel that. Uh, so I should have uh, flanking for, for these. Uh, which would be good. Uh, next turn, I think, is when I'll need to uh, to look at uh, buying something with faith. Uh, so, uh, moving along, we'll see what this does. Uh, it looks like two units can attack that uh, musket there. Uh, three units if that crossbow comes in range. He's down to 800 uh, uh, military strength. Ah, he lost a unit attacking. Nice. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to uh, see what I can do with, uh, with these guys here. Uh, first of all, production here. I finished the encampment. So I'm going to repair the outer defenses. Uh, so that'll get me the wall back and the district. Um, what do I want? Pike and shot or courser? Uh, pike and shot. Um, now, that's a decisive victory good that's a major victory good this will do major damage and that's a major victory yes so i just took out three of his units um all at once there so i'm definitely in a much better position than i was in um yeah so uh, he can't have too many more units just stacked up. I think he's down to building them as he needs them. Uh, which means uh, I'll be able to start getting ahead here uh, between faith and uh, a hard building. And, uh, you know, how can I let the barbarians run amok? Is he referring to Genghis? Uh, <laughs> he's not, but that'd be kind of funny. If he's referring to Genghis, I'm working on it. Um, but it looks like Genghis's empire is stretched out, so if he's building stuff down here, it'll take him a little bit to... Yeah, I figured I'd lose that one. He's backing up his uh, melee units, uh, so that's interesting. Um, yeah... Okay. Now I've got my defenses back, I can start uh, whittling down on these. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, swap these guys around. I think I can get this guy into here without uh, taking too much damage. That's a decisive victory which wasn't quite so decisive. You come over here. You come over here. Those will run interference. And up here, I can take a shot at you. And I can do that. Oh, he's down to 693. <laughs> Uh, and I need three more error score. Unit. 
Right. Wait. Okay. Uh, that's outer defenses. Repair the barracks. Here. Uh, I kind of want to build the monument. Okay, you can do your thing. Um, you can repeat the route. Okay, let's see what he does. So this, uh, as you can see, wars take a lot of uh, time investment. Uh, and they definitely... They definitely take their toll on, uh, on your uh, ability to do things. Uh, but... I'm going to get this bombard into the... Uh, district here uh, yeah you can go over there uh, right I'm going to hit you and hit you and move you in here and you can uh, wait a bit you can back up. Actually, you can go over here. Support those guys. I should take this out. Uh, and if I attack that and do that... Okay, so now I'm going to take a hit from the city but I've got substantially less stuff that can attack me. Uh, so that on its own is worth something. Now, uh, right, you can come down here, kick that general out. I'm gonna get another courser uh, I should take a look and see where I get uh, get Cossacks, because uh, they'll be really strong versus uh, Liskey here. Uh, but I'll take the Bombard, and I'll start taking pot shots at, at the city, I think. The only thing he's got here that can hit me back is the uh, crossbow. until another swarm of units uh, comes forward. I wonder how this total combat strength is counted, if it counts a city strength or not. Uh-huh. I kind of expected I'd lose that. Uh, these guys are going to have to retreat. What I should do is, is uh, see if I can fast build a uh, uh, renaissance or, or, oh, you can't because it's, because the walls aren't repairable. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, start building a bombard and here I'm going to build another courser. So I'll bring this guy up to the front. Uh, this guy can go back here. Um, oh, right, he's already a core. Uh, no. Uh, 
that guy, I definitely want him back in my uh, territory. Um, this guy. Okay, so these guys will be able to core up. Uh, yeah, so I'll do that. And uh, that guy can pop over here. And the Bombard can attack here. Wow, 20 off the defenses. How many are there? Oh, he's got medieval walls. Okay. Uh, right. You. I'm going to back you up into the forest. Uh, better defense there. Uh, you can do that. And I'm getting another uh, turn, another pop here. Uh, too bad you can't repair things with, uh, uh, with gold or something like that. Okay, moving along. Now yeah, we'll see what happens. He's definitely going to take a shot at my uh, district there. Yep. Huh. Barbarians, huh? Mercantilism. Uh, choose what to build here. I finished the dam. I'm gonna repair the, the walls. Uh, and up here, that was a monument. I'm going to build a courser. And I'm going to build a courser. And I'm gonna fill a policy slot. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, if I move this up here. What do I have here? Plus one amenity with garrisons. Ancient and classical light cavalry. Loyalty with garrisons. Stronger city defenses. Um... Uh, national identity could be good, but uh, what I want to do is look over here. Uh, four gold and one faith from all trade routes. That might be a good one to slot in instead of the builder's one. Um, that, I think, will help as I'm having amenity issues. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that will do. Okay. Now. We'll take another pot shot here. And uh, this guy will heal up. This guy can back up over here and heal up. This guy can take a promotion. And this guy can heal up. Uh, right. Uh, this guy can uh, move up. Okay, 
So, uh, Genghis is down to 553, and I'm at 262, so we're much more evenly matched. Um, yeah. So I've knocked uh, about two-thirds off of Genghis' uh, combat strength, and I've been uh, about holding even here. Uh, of course, uh, uh, it's been uh, a little bit uh, tedious. Okay, production here. Uh, what to uh, to build? Uh, I can't build a courser. Or a knight because I don't have any iron. I can create a builder, which I think would be a brilliant thing to do. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to take another shot at his walls. So he's down to 139 of 200, so a few more turns on that. Uh, uh, you can actually just park there for the moment. Uh, you can move up. <coughs> and park so I'm going to reassign Moksha to Kazimov okay uh, next Uh, we don't know what governor he has in there, but he has one. Oh, look, we met somebody. Um, I'm pretty sure we're headed for a dark age. How many turns? Four. Unless we somehow meet two more people in the next... Uh, um, next couple of turns uh, we're not going to uh, get a normal age and that will have implication for whether I can hold Liskey although with uh, Victor here I should be able to uh, right so what am I gonna do with this guy now that he's Well, I think I'm going to park him over here. And... Bang. Uh, right, another turn and uh, the walls will be down under a hundred. Uh, then I should be able to take some uh, shots at, uh, you know, take a few more shots. I, then I, I should have enough coursers around there to put his city under siege. Uh, and that, uh, that will be uh, helpful as well. Uh-huh, I kind of suspected I was going to see some stuff coming up. Uh, this guy, uh, right. That's a major victory. That's a major victory. Oh, right. I'll just use this.
And that, I'm going to obviously attack the wall. I'm going to attack there. And I'm going to attack there. I'm going to bring this guy up for support. And this guy up for support. And uh, this guy into here. Now he has five units to choose from to uh, to attack. Um, looks like in one more turn, and I can probably build another courser with faith. Um, yeah, uh, that should help with amenities a little bit. I think I'm getting some war weariness going. Uh, no, I need the uh, niter. Well, I don't, but I do. I should have taken that deal. I really should have. What did he hit me with? Well, everything, obviously. Uh, right. But that saved me a turn of damage on, on here. I think. Hmm. No, I need to keep attacking. Yeah, I need to keep attacking there. I'll bring that guy up. Okay, bring this guy up. You know what? I'm going to pillage the bejesus out of his stuff. Huh. Right. Okay. And here I can grab with faith a musket or a courser or a pike and shot. Musket, I think. Okay, I'm going to bring this guy in range for uh, support purposes and to uh, grab uh, any uh, damage. Now, let's see. So you'd think I should have taken this out first. But uh, knocking down the city health means I can take the city and then keep the walls on the uh, encampment. Uh, so I'm working my way through this. Uh, hopefully, three more turns I'll have uh, I'll have the uh, walls uh, dealt with here. Um, right. Uh, apparently I'm not part of that emergency. And, yay Dark Age. Okay. And, Genghis has a normal age. How fun. Continue.
Well, I'll take two arms. And, uh, right. So. I'm going to take another shot here. And... Quite frankly, I'm going to repair the aqueduct. And I can take a promotion. Take that. Okay. That would give me 117 culture. I'll plunder that. And, uh, right. Oh, that's got him under siege. Interesting. So I'll come in here, park that. Uh, this guy. Well, I could, you know. I'm going to pillage. I know that it would be uh, beneficial to uh, can I attack? Yeah, actually that was probably the smart thing to do. Uh, right. So I'll come up here Come up here and uh, yeah, I can't get in there. And I'll take a uh, promotion there. And uh, right, so and I'll bring this guy up to here. Uh, and we'll see what happens. He can only hit two of these guys. Without bringing up somebody from over here. An unmet city-state has been defeated. I'm half expecting a peace offer soon. He's down to 473. <laughs> Right. Okay, yeah, that's kind of half expected. Um, right. So I'm going to have to back this guy off. But that's fine. I might be able to get this guy all the way up here. Siege tactics. Okay, research. Well, obviously I want that one now. I'm going to repair the dam here as well, because I, I just need to get... Uh... Now, can I get... No. Obviously, I need to do this. Okay, so one more hit there should just about do it. Um, hmm. Right. Okay, so this guy has to back up. This guy has to go up here. Uh, I need to get just out of range with this guy. Well, I'll put him here. Uh, what can I buy here with gold? 
I can buy a Courser. I'll do that. Uh, right. I'll pillage. Okay, so that guy will uh, survive another turn. Uh, obviously, he can be hit from over here. Uh, this guy can be hit from here and here, but it puts the city under siege. Uh, and uh, that's kind of what I want to do there, is have the city under siege. Because I think if I take that city, uh, it'll uh, cause Genghis to leave me alone a little bit for a while. He, he should offer peace real soon now. Um, no. Uh, right, so, this guy survived. Wow. He shouldn't have by any right. He had no right to survive that. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to keep building those. Bring this guy in here. I am going to attack here. And the fortification is gone. Uh, bring this guy in here. I'm going to park him here, actually. And uh, take the promotion... And this guy, I'll turn into a core, and he still has the zone of control, uh, so there's that. This guy has to go back in the city or he's dead. Uh, so he can, he can take one, he'll tank a hit from there. He'll tank a hit from there. This guy is just running interference. These guys have flanking uh, support. Um, now, I'll uh, wait another turn on that. Uh, yeah. Because I think if I uh, clobber it once more with the Bombard... These guys will have a shot at uh, taking it. At least that's uh, a theory I'm working on. And once I have Cossacks, I'll have a much better shot at uh, going after... Uh... Oh! Wow! What did I get hit by? This and this, I guess. Okay. So that's the dam there. Okay, so that's uh, completed all of that stuff. Uh, so I need to build a whole bunch more units. Yeah, that's the dam completed there. Uh... 
units are going to take too long there. So I will go for a industrial zone. And this, I think, will be the aqueduct. So so if I put it there, I get the plus two, plus two. Yeah, put it there. Okay. Right. So I need to bring this guy up here. Now I'll uh I will uh get this guy out of uh range because he needs to heal definitely. And, uh, yeah, that does take the, uh, siege off, but, well, if I bring this guy over here, he's in range of the same stuff he was. This guy over here is also in the range of the same stuff he was. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna uh, get a, uh, whoops. Right, I need to uh, pick something here. Uh, civics tree. Uh, mobilization allows armies, so I definitely want to go for that. Governor title. Um... I think I'll uh, grab the uh, Divine Architect for uh, Moksha, and uh, here, uh, whoops, can I, I can repair outer defenses. Um, uh, can I buy anything with faith? Nothing useful. Okay. This guy come up here. Next. Right, okay. I kind of half expected that. Well, I don't know if they're... Well, yeah. Kind of half expected one of these guys to show up. He's at 457. Um, right, okay. Now, do I continue the bombard, or no, medieval walls is going to take too long, so I'll continue the bombard there. I will attack with the bombard here, 
So 113. Um, right. So this guy can come up here. This guy can make it here. That guy is still iffy. I could pillage. Or I could find out... <sighs> How solid is that attack going to be? Let's see. Oh! This might do it. Yes! There we go. We got the city. Now, if I keep the city... Um, let's take a look. Garrisoned. Happiness level. Not following my religion. Okay. Right. So, do I have... No, not there. Here. I can buy a Inquisitor. And, yeah. Okay. Now I can bring this guy back in here and he can heal you have zero right so I need to drop a governor in there Moksha I guess it'll have to be so governor reassign Liskey, a sign. So that buys me a couple of turns. Um, I need to go into here. View policies. Uh... Okay, unlock governors. Plus one amenity and uh, garrison units. Plus two loyalty. Confirm. Yes. Choose production. Repair monument. Next. Does he offer peace? That is the question. He'll probably demand his city back if he does. Oh, 
Oh, he's offering the city and a philosopher's stone. Um, make peace. He's offering to seed the city. I'm going to take it. Okay. Right. So, okay, I want to sort by science. Plus five science. Begin. You go go over here, do your thing, and we take a look. Okay. So once that uh, monument finishes, we should be able to keep the city. Nice. Okay, I can take the promotion here, and you can heal, you can heal, you can heal, you can go over here and park, you can mix with that. Okay, that was uh, kind of good. Uh, right. Um, so, that... Oh, no. Okay, well, I'm going to keep on that pattern, um, and yeah, okay, you can park there, uh, you can go over here and do your thing. Uh, right. And you can do your thing. Right. You can go over here. Yeah, this looks like uh, Scythia is going to... Um, attack and uh, yeah is there anything I could do backstab a verse they're not interested in an embassy will they right 
Uh... Well... Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. This pretty much indicates uh, a surprise war is coming. Uh, which is seriously annoying. Anyway, I'll uh, park that. Uh, right, you can work your way down. On the upside, I uh, have been uh, building military units, so I'm not quite as bad off as I might have been, but wow. Okay, anyway, uh, with the successful conclusion of the war with Mongolia, uh, I'm going to call it apart here. Uh, next time around, uh, almost certainly the first one or two turns in, there will be a surprise declaration of war from Scythia, uh, which unfortunately is probably going to end the game. But I have Cossacks coming up in three turns, so uh, if I can uh, get enough gold going, I have a really good chance of uh, being able to defend. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for this time, so if you want to see what happens, uh, tune in next time.